Tracy taught her chicks to walk tall and be proud like a chicken. It was time for a bath because, in being proud like a chicken, neatness counts. George? Would you come here, please? <laughs> the neighbors will be here soon for our monthly game lunch, so I need you to run to the store. <laughs> We're out of toothpicks. It's not a party if you don't pick up small food with toothpicks. Uh-huh. Oh, we need marshmallows, too. And a new deck of cards. You, uh, you got some jelly on the old deck. <laughs> so take this list to Ada and Luke's general store, okay? <laughs> that sounded like a chicken in trouble. <laughs> George could see those six chicks needed to be rescued. Now all the chicks had to do was walk across. The bridge wasn't chick safe yet. What could he do to make it safer? That bridge had sides made from triangle shapes. George suggested they cross one at a time, in case the bridge wasn't strong enough to hold them all. But the bridge was plenty strong. It even held a whole hand. A job well done. George could now rush home with the marshmallows, toothpicks, and cards. Maybe not straight home. <laughs> that must be some party if you need more marshmallows, toothpicks, and cards already. <laughs> now it's officially a party. <laughs> All righty. We're going to play goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, come see what the chickens built. They are geniuses. We better start looking at colleges. And that's how the Rankins College Fund for Gifted Chickens got its start.